Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Thursday, March 8th, 2018. Uh, freaking week is going by fast. So we dodged a bullet here at the homestead. Uh, we ended up with maybe an inch of snow. And uh, like after I did the video, probably half an hour after I did the video, the snow stopped. And I was like, okay. So I came out and I cleaned the panels off that. And I did that last night. And uh, <clears throat> got everything cleaned up. But uh, it's uh, a little overcast today. But it, it's funny, even with it being overcast, we had some sun earlier. We still have pulled in so far, and it's about 2.30 right now. We've pulled in uh, 2.4 kilowatt hours on the day so far. Okay, so let's talk about this nor'easter that, uh, like I said, we dodged a bullet here at the homestead. We really did. We got, like I said, about an inch of snow and that was it. I know New England is getting pounded. There's talk that up to some places are getting up to three feet of snow up there. So it's uh, not a lot of fun for those guys up there right now. I heard that three quarters of a million people are without power. Uh, like 2,700 and something flights have been canceled due to the weather. You know, so, um, what's going on with this freaking crazy weather, okay? This is what, actually what I wanted to talk about today was, uh, something that I've been looking into. And, uh, you know, I, I look at everything with an open mind. And, uh, it's a possibility that it could be happening. I've said before that the planet goes in cycles, okay? Uh, the planet gets hot, it gets cold. Everybody was talking about how, you know, global warming, global warming, okay? Well, uh, actually, the planet has been cooling off. And uh, that's kind of been proven that the planet's actually cooling off and not getting warmer. But, uh, you know, you got El Gore. It's probably madder than, madder than heck right now, but uh, it ruins his narrative of what he's doing. So now, instead of calling it global warming, they're calling it climate change. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, which I thought was quite interesting. So one of the things that I've been watching actually lately, and I'm going to pull this out because I wrote it down because I want to make sure I said it right, so that if you guys want to go and check it out. All right, hold on. All right. I've been watching the uh, Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Uh, Diamond is over there at the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. And uh, he does a lot of really interesting research about the grand solar minimum, okay? And he is saying that we are entering into a grand solar minimum where the planet is actually cooling off and uh, because of the sun's activities not as, as active as it normally is, it's going into a, a different cycle. And, you know, it kind of goes into what I've been saying. This, the planet is going to cycle. It's had periods on the Earth where it's been super, super warm. And then it's had other periods where it's been really, really cold. And uh, right now, we are entering into a grand solar minimum, is according to what he is saying, okay? And uh, I can't really dispute it, because the, the, weather, the weather has been so bizarre, and uh, the planet is definitely, you know, uh, changing. Uh, Mother Nature's pissed off, I guess you would say, for these ants called human beings that are destroying her planet. Uh, I, I think that, like I said, it's uh, it's definitely something that's interesting. Uh, I think it's definitely something to watch. Now, that being said, so somebody has, I've had some comments saying, well, because we're heading into a grand solar minimum, your solar panels are going to be worthless because you're not going to be getting the sun, okay? Well, even on a cloudy day, guys, you're still going to get sun, so I would still get some from that. Um, I do plan on getting some wind turbines, and obviously I'm putting in greenhouses. Now... With that being said, let's say I go ahead and put the greenhouse, a couple greenhouses in, get wind turbines up, and then we don't have a grand solar minimum. Let's say that that is completely not ever happening, and people go, ah, look what happened, you did all that work for nothing. And I'd be like, no, uh, I have a sustainable amount of food that I can grow myself, more power than what I need, and uh, so to me, that's a win-win. It's a win-win situation either way, guys. It really, truly is. Um, I either win by the fact that I'm ready for whatever's coming, or I win because if nothing happens, then I am more self-sustainable. And uh, that ultimately is the goal, you know, trying to be self-sustainable. I'm going to use a new term, and uh, tell me what you guys think of it. I call it prepping for life, 
okay? I was talking to a buddy of mine, and we kind of came up with that. And he, it's, he gets more credit for it than I do, but uh, it makes sense. With, uh, you know, prepping gets such a bad rap, and people think that you're crazy if you prep and blah, 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 and all that good stuff. But prepping for life, you're preparing for life, and it makes a lot of sense. So you prepare for life, which it just to me, it's a, it's a really cool term. And I, I will give all the credit to Reese on that one, but he said it's it, it's mine, I can use it. But uh, prepping for life, I like it, because that's what we do. You prep for whatever's going to happen in life. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be an emergency that affects everybody. It can be an emergency that affects you, okay? So that's really, really important. And uh, so I, I think it's something that uh, definitely that we all really need to think about. You know, I, I had somebody say to me, you know, uh, that, uh, well, I'm poor and I can't prep and, and all this type of stuff. And again, I hate it when people say that. I really, really do. Because here's the thing is, and, I've, and I'm have and i not saying this is all poor people, guys, so please don't hammer me on this, but I'm going to use an example, okay? Former neighbor of mine, very, very poor people. But they always had money for three things, guys. Always had money for three things. Cigarettes, beer, and dope. Always had money for that, no matter how poor they were. But that's, you know, to each their own. We all have to cope in our own way. But my thing is this. I don't care how poor you are. I don't care how poor you are. If you took a dollar or two dollars a week and just used that to prep, that's nothing. Um, there's a lot of states here in the Northeast where we have the bottle and can return law. Go pick up some bottles and cans. You make more than $2 a week just doing that alone. And, uh, you know, it's a nickel here in New York, and uh, I think Michigan is a dime. And there's other places also that it's, it's uh, a lot of them is in northeast states that uh, have the bottle return. But uh, it's a nickel, a nickel a can here. All right? That'll add up pretty quick. And you could take that money, and you could use that for your prepping money because that's not coming out of your whatever other money that you have okay so I hate excuses I really truly do uh, you know don't tell me how lucky I am because I'm able to do this I did this because I worked hard and I got things squared away and uh, you know I, I had a plan and uh, you know I had to dump a lot of stuff I had to change my life drastically to do it but uh, to me in the end it was worth it uh, it's peace of mind it really truly is and that's what it's about to me. It's really, truly about peace of mind. And uh, we can all have that if we want it. But uh, again, that is a choice. But anyway, um, going back to the Grand Solar Minimum, uh, it is a very big possibility that, that could be what's happening right now. The planet is definitely going through a change. Uh, if you don't see that, then you're not paying attention. But uh, he's got really, if you go over to the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and check that out, uh, really, really cool channel. I like it. Um, you know, he's uh, very witty, and uh, oh, excuse me, he makes a lot of sense. We got a lot of volcanoes going off, which is going to actually affect the weather as well. And uh, but there's always volcanoes going off. You're going to tell me, yep, there are, but it's more so than normal. Okay, right now that's what's happening. More so than normal. So there's a lot going on. Um, there's a lot to pay attention to. But like I said, here's my biggest thing. Okay. And I've said this before, don't live in fear, okay? I don't live in fear. Um, I just continue to do what I need to do to take care of my family. And I think that's what we all really need to do. You still have to live life. You still have to enjoy life. And I'm going to tell you what, I mean, I'm a big proponent of that. You still have to enjoy life. You can't let prepping or living off grid or anything else consume you and be all that you think about, okay? Uh, I think about vacations. I think about uh, taking my kids and doing this, that, and the other thing. And uh, I have plans to do that, okay? And, uh, you know, we didn't take a vacation last year, but uh, I'm hoping that this year that we can and uh, get away for a little bit, which will be, would, which will be awesome if we can. And, uh, you know, like I said, I have some plans, and uh, I have a lot that I want to do and a lot that I want to accomplish, but uh, I still truly enjoy life. Life is so awesome, and it's so precious, and it's so short. And, uh, you know, that's the thing. You really have to take that. I call it taking the time to smell the roses, realistically. I mean, and I know that's somebody else's line from something else, but I really think it's so important to do that and just really appreciate what we have. And, uh, you know, whatever your situation, whatever your circumstances are, you know, 
Look at your life. Look at the positive things in your life. That's what you really got to look at. Don't look at the negativity. Don't look. We all got negativity, guys. We all got crap that we got to deal with and that we got going on. But if you look at the positive overall, that's what it's about. That's where you need to be, okay? So anyway, um, I'll show you up on the roof. The roof is pretty much cleared off now, which is good. And like I said, we had a little bit of snow yesterday, but that was it. Well, anyway, guys, I definitely want your feedback on this. Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of the Grand Solar Minimum. Tell me what you think of you folks up there in uh, New England. Let me know how you guys are doing. Uh, I know you guys are getting hammered up there, so uh, my thoughts are with you. They truly are. Uh, like I said, we, we got lucky on this one. We got hit in the last one, and uh, this one we, we kind of, like I said, we got about an inch of snow, so it was not bad at all. So I will take that. But anyway, um, definitely want to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, go check out the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Like I said, pretty cool channel. Uh, I definitely recommend it. I think he's given out some really good information. And I don't recommend a lot of channels. I'm going to tell you that right now. Some people say, oh, give me a shout out to my channel. Give me a shout out to my channel. And I really don't do it a lot unless it's something that I watch and that I really, really, truly like. Uh, also, I want to really mention really quickly, um, Icky up in Canada, um, he's doing pretty good. I know that his... Uh, his one goat had twin boys, and so they're doing well. And I, I, I believe that Icky's doing well. I haven't really talked to him recently, but I follow his uh, post that he puts up on Facebook. So, if Icky, if you're watching, please give me a call, brother. I'd, I'd definitely like to just touch base with you. And uh, But other than that, you know, we're just, like I said, we're just moving along here at the homestead. So, anyway, listen, definitely want your feedback on the, on the uh, video. Let me know what you think. I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Uh, tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. And the only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. The volume problem yesterday, I think because it was snowing and it was a wet snow, it got into something and it messed up that last two minutes of the video. So I apologize about that. Hopefully it sounds better today, all right? I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.